today it's Janice from Bloemfontein. Um, today we are making a delicious Stella beer battered fish um, with chips and garlic olive. The reason why I use the Stella beer for my batter is because it has sweet notes, it has a good like a bitter aftertaste and it's quite refreshing and it has mild notes so that's why I chose the Stella beer for my batter. Now we are going to season our flour with salt, thyme, paprika and pepper. With our flour that's seasoned we are going to drench our fish into the flour. Our hake fillets. I actually forgot to say that in the beginning. We are using hake fillets. So you take uh, your hake fillet and you are drenching this in your flour. Just make sure it's nicely covered. This will also help the batter to stick to your fish. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with my Stella beer batter. First, I'm gonna add salt. Paprika and pepper to my flour and then I'm going to pour in my beer. I'm adding two bottles of beer. I'm done mixing my batter and now I will take the egg white, whisk them and then also fold it into my batter. Okay, so here's my whisk egg white. I will fold it into my batter. Okay, can you see how light and fluffy this batter is? Perfect. Now, I will dunk it in the batter, it's quite messy. And then, I will move it uh, on to the oil. What you do, first, you just need to put the fish in the oil, play with it for a bit, and then you lay it down. Otherwise, it's gonna get stuck at the, the bottom. This will go in for about eight minutes. Uh, four minutes on the one side, four minutes on the other side. Um, and after the formula, you can just turn it around to make sure that it's beautifully golden brown. Can you see? The fish is beautiful, golden brown. And now I'm just going to season it with a little salt. So, we are going to fry the potatoes twice. Uh, first, uh, at the low heat, just to blanch the potato. And then after that, to actually deep fry the potato. So now, I'm removing my fries. They look crispy and delicious. Now for the garlic aioli. I firstly took my garlic, put it in the, in the oven at 180 degrees. This helped the garlic to sweeten a bit and also uh, come out like in a puree for, uh, for. So I'm just going to use a scoop of the garlic. Then, egg yolks and a little lemon juice. So I'm just going to mix all of this together. Now for the clarified butter, I'm going to add from a dizzy height. The clarified butter I made on a double boiler and the milk solid just split from the butter. So the first two minutes is quite important. Uh, when you add the clarified butter on a dizzy high we are done with a perfectly battered Stella cake and beautifully crispy chips and our beautiful garlic aioli let's have a taste mm. Delicious. Hello, 
The reason why I will be the best candidate for taste master is because I have more than 10 years experience in the hospitality industry field. I am currently a lecturer. I'm teaching first, second and third year students culinary studies. I have traveled um, to the UK to do courses as well as I've worked in America. So um, I'm very innovative. I've also started with my business, uh, which is called At The Table by Janice. And if you follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page, you will see that I am uh, cooking. I'm busy. I, I, I would like to, to be uh, discovered. And I know I will make a success because um, I have what it takes. I think I am your taste master.